Let's differentiate x times inverse tangent x plus ln of square root of 1 minus x squared. Before we join to do the derivative, this part we can do some algebra with it because we have ln of a square root and usually we like to look at square root as to the one half power. This right here, I can look at this as ln parentheses to the one half power 1 minus x squared inside. And I can take the one half to the front. So before we do calculus, let's do that algebra first. I can look at this equation as y equals to x times inverse tangent x. One half is in the front, we have the positive, so plus one half ln of one minus x squared. Okay? So let me erase this. And now let's just kind of get ready and to do the derivative for this. I will write down y prime. This will be this is the product of two things, x times the inverse tension. So we have to use the product rule. We do that. We write out the x first times the derivative of this. So check out my other video, and you will see that the derivative of inverse tension is 1 over 1 minus x squared. And we add the second function, we keep it, inverse tension x times the derivative of first, which is just 1. So we're done with the first part, this part right here. And for the second part, we have plus 2 times ln of 1 minus x squared. So we, we write down the plus, and we can write down the 1 half first. And to take the derivative of ln of something, we begin by writing down as 1 over the same thing right here. 1 over that, 1 minus x squared. But then inside, we have to do the derivative of the inside as well, because of the chain rule. The derivative 1 is 0, the derivative of negative x squared is negative 2x. Okay, now the matter is just, um, is there anything that we can cancel out? This part, we can cancel the 2. And let's just put things down, put things down nicely. This is x over 1 minus x squared. This is plus inverse tangent x. And this right here is a minus, minus x over that. So we have minus x over 1 minus x squared. And this, that, cancels each other out. Final answer is just the inverse tension x. That's it. And the parentheses doesn't really matter, but I put it down already, so I'm not going to erase that. This is it.